I'm saying until later. I'm just being weird, because I'm that type of guy. My name is uh, Joshua Munchow from Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, I bought a Honda Beat. Sam AZ1 and the Suzuki Cappuccino and the Honda Beat. And I realized that being a Honda lover, I have two other Hondas right now, domestic, that that is the car that I definitely, definitely wanted. But I didn't think that it was really going to be an option. Um, and then I found out about Monty Motors and the fact that they would go looking for a car specifically that I had in mind. The next step for me was specifically to say, okay, I want a Honda Beat with a hard top because I'm not a convertible guy in most cases and the Honda Beat is a convertible. So I wanted the hard top and then I said if there's any other things you could get, you know, because I plan on making changes, I'm not going to keep it completely stock. They went looking and was within a couple weeks they found a couple good examples and they let me pick and I, I ended up with uh, this bad boy right here process of buying the Beat, especially since I had requested the car specifically, was actually surprisingly easy and that was the thing that probably surprised me the most about everything. Before I knew about Monte Motors, I thought that importing a car was going to mean a year of my time trying to figure out all the paperwork, trying to source a car, trying to figure out how to ship it over here, and it turns out they do all of that. They do it very well and they do it extremely streamlined. So for me, I said, here's the car I want. They said, this is what it's going to cost. I said, that's it? They're like, yeah, that's it. So we shook hands. They got it on a boat, came over here, came here, signed my name like four times, and it's mine. It's registered, titled, everything, easy peasy. And that was a ridiculously incredible and simple process for getting a JDM car in, I think, less than about two months, which I thought was impossible. So the process was super streamlined and super easy. When I asked what specifically I was looking for, it first started with, here's a few images that I found of some cars that you could, could possibly be options. And so I looked at them and I chose which one I wanted and said, okay, uh, this is this is the one I want. Can, can we get it? And then I heard back that we got it. And then, a, like a week later, I got a bunch more photos before it got loaded onto a boat. And then, as soon as it showed up, I got a bunch more photos. And I got videos, quick little videos showing me little things about it. And said, "When do you want to come pick it up?" And it was really easy. Um, kept me in the loop the entire time. So I knew exactly what to expect, when to expect it, and uh, I didn't feel like anything was ever unknown. It was, it was all very clear and transparent. After seeing all the pictures that had been sent, which was a lot of pictures, and every single picture, every time I got a new set of pictures, just made me giddy. And as soon as I walked in, I did a little happy dance, because you have to do a happy dance, but it was like, Look at how small Incredibly it is. surprising that it oh looked exactly God. as good Woo! as it did in the photos. And I, I did a 150 touch point inspection, just being like, ooh, ah, and everything looked great. Everything is exactly as it was in the photos. Um, there, there's no disappointment. It's, it's not even hitting me yet. Um, what, what I have, because it is, I've only had it now for a few hours, and it's still incredible to think. Just this morning, I didn't have this, and now I do. And just the initial excitement isn't even really starting yet about how awesome this is. In the beginning of the buying process, I said, well, this is what I want to do to the car, so 
I guess if you could find a cheap version that doesn't have any of this that's like kind of beat up, I would eventually put on aftermarket wheels. I wanted to get a hard top and then after that it would be uh, more performance components. So since it's already got the hard top, since it's already got the wheels, now it's going to be doing a full tune up, um, checking everything, probably doing a timing belt and then I am pretty handy in the shop. I actually work um, for a, des a design company and I manage a prototype shop so I build stuff. So for me I'm looking at all the bracing components that I can find and I'm going to fab them up myself, put them on, and then after that probably check and see if I can get some imported Mugen coilovers, maybe an exhaust, and maybe end up just leaving that as it is. Oh, and a rev, uh, not a rev limiter, but a cut limiter because it's, it's digitally limited to 7,500 RPM in fifth gear. And so to remove that, there's a, there's a little module you can get. And I'll do that as well. And then after that, it's drive it and enjoy it. And if I ever want more power, which it's fun, it's zippy, but it isn't the same as the GTRs or anything. So eventually my ultimate goal is to do a motor swap and if you look online there are people who have tried a bunch of different swaps with a Hayabusa motor, with CBR motors, with a, a B12. Uh, some people have been wanting to do a K swap. I don't know if that's physically possible but I have plenty of time to work that out. That's probably going to be a few years in the future but that would be the ultimate goal and then depending on if a lot of parts start becoming available in the United States instead of it just being a fun car, making it into an actual track monster and not worrying so much about parts availability if I can start finding them. So that's my, that's my end goal. Of course I would recommend Mon2 Motors. They helped me out in, with something that I never thought was even possible and they made it super easy and I ended up with a car that is better than I could have ever imagined when I first contacted them and said I would like this I know I'm probably not gonna get it so I'll take something much much less and they delivered in spades this is it's a ridiculous car and the process was so easy and Monty Motors covered every single thing literally all I had to do was sign my name and it's it's taken care of so that I can't recommend them enough because there's hardly anybody in the world that wants to take on the job of importing a, a car into the U.S. given all the restrictions and regulations. And that's what they do, and they do it well. So I'll definitely recommend Monty Motors again. And if I ever came into some more money, I might get another car. But that's definitely down the road. So the Honda Beat is a uh, K-Class car. It's a K Jadosha. It um, has a maximum size requirements, maximum horsepower requirements, maximum speed requirements. 660 cc motor, inline three, individual throttle bodies, a five speed with disc brakes all around, McPherson all around, two seat sports car, usually a convertible. This one specifically has a hard top. It was made for three years from 91 to 93. There were two main revisions after the first one but a majority of the cars you'll find are in the first edition of it. 92 they introduced a couple new colors and then 93 they retuned some of the suspension components. They retuned the motor just a tiny bit. There was also a Mugen edition that had different body kit, different exhaust and slightly better suspension. It's a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car. Weight balance I think is some Somewhere around 55, 45, it might be a little bit higher, 57, 43, rear to front. Got a lot of little weird quirks because it's a K car. There's a lot of space issues that they had to work out that were interesting. Uh, there's not a lot of storage compartments and yet you got a decent sized trunk considering it's a two seat K car. This is a hard top, there's the back deck above where the motor sits and you can store a bunch of bags back there if you want. It's pretty spacious, it's really comfortable. Anybody up to 6'2", 6'3", can easily fit in this car. I have longer legs and a shorter torso, so I have plenty of headroom, um, but my legs are a little crunched, but it's not a big deal. There's no tilt wheel, so it makes getting in and out a little bit of a challenge, but a lot of people will swap out the regular steering wheel for a quick release steering wheel, which might be something I will do as well. There's a lot of support in Japan and abroad for this car because 
in a few different countries, the UK especially, there's a big racing community where people have modded these to ridiculous levels. There are a lot of performance parts, especially since there was an original Mugen edition. You can always get Mugen parts, and there are plenty, plenty of other aftermarket components available to change this into so many different variations. Um, you can redo the entire interior, you can redo the entire exterior, there's wide body kits, there's different wings, different suspension, different wheels, lots of engine tuning modifications that you can do. There's, there's so many things that are out there for a car that only had a total production run of 33,000 over three years. I'm excited for more of them to get brought into the United States because it's a very unique opportunity to have something that never would have existed in the United States simply because we didn't have that culture and now now you can bring it in. It's a really interesting opportunity for especially younger people or smaller people who want something that stands out but also isn't that big of an investment. They're, they're not a $50,000 car. You can get them for 10 grand and they'll be in really, really good shape. So to me, there's, there's a lot of unique things about this car and I'm really looking forward to learning even more and all the little quirks that I'm sure I'll get used to. Blah, 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 ooh, so sexy. Blah, 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 ooh, so sexy. It's insane power. I would definitely recommend Monty Motors. And I would definitely go through Monty Motors again and again. Registration, insurance, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, they took care of every fear you could possibly have. They'll be able to answer it right on the spot. That was a ridiculously simple process for getting a JDM car. I couldn't be happier with my purchase from Monty Motors.